What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Third Person. My name is Chris. I am one of your hosts. And with me, as always, is my man, Mike. It's Jess. What's up? And Jesse. How you doing? Guys, we're going to be recapping, reviewing, reacting, all those good things to Westworld Season 1, Episode 2, titled Chestnut. It was a really good episode. So we're just going to jump right on into it, guys. Um, that's what we do here. So uh, we would just we all we actually all just watched it together. We did a live reaction. So if you haven't seen that, please go check that out uh, if you so choose. Really, just really great episode, right, guys? I mean, they're just jumping right into this thing. Um, yep. And uh, you know, so uh, there's kind of a lot to talk about, but we don't want to make this too long. So uh, let's just jump right into um, our first player character. <laughs> that we see i don't know what else to call him. our first uh, guest from from the yeah. very beginning uh, his name is william and um we see him you know something that i was actually calling for last week that we yet get to see them yeah. arriving and getting their outfits and the fact that they're given no instruction you know and they're, they're greeted by a host with well, my infatuation now we have to look her up the, yeah this is the the, <laughs> yeah. the the host is now mikey's new infatuation right so we we so apparently you could do whatever you could you could start your adventure before you even get into the park with the host that's supposed to give you your orientation. But she's he's like, you know, are there any like manuals or training? He, she's like, nope, you just get get your ass in there and do do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we see him get in and, and um, you know, very, very reminiscent of uh, the character in the movie, the 1973 yeah. film, uh, which was really cool that they brought that aesthetic back. Like he's yeah. very. Two he's, guys, same thing, you know. Yeah, he's he's yeah. like, yeah, he doesn't know what it's real. He doesn't know what to do. This and that. They did give him. He did tell one of the hookers though that there's um someone waiting for him back at home, which may not be true. That just may be something he said to like not have to bang a robot. I don't know. You know what I mean? But um, you know, but Never I, know. I but uh, yeah, I liked it, right? I mean, I, um, yeah. I think he's. I think he's. He, the the actor look. He's playing it really well. You know the way the way he's he's running that. Um, what else? What about what else with William? What do we got? Did you guys notice anything with him or or anything? Take any notes I, on that? I mean, no. I obviously we see there's a big difference between him and his buddy. What was his buddy's name? Oh right, his buddy. Yeah, let's talk uh, about that guy. No, who, um, who knows? I don't know. Was that Logan? Maybe I don't. It doesn't even really matter. We know matter, he's a work, we, we know see, he's we a see work the difference. Yeah, yeah. Right. They work together, which they were on the on the sh on the movie too. I believe they were both lawyers. Um, I believe they both were lawyers. Anyway, yeah, we see yeah, the right. dynamic and we see how different it was, especially with that scene at the bar the, in the bar, with the man that um, that patch. will you know will uh, you know trying gave to get him to do a side quest, right? Yeah, and uh, and his buddy slams a knife through his hand. Because he's like, oh, so I we can't see shake right off the bat. Here. Yeah, we yeah. see right off the bat that they're um, they they have two different um ideas of this place or how they're gonna play the game. Yeah. Um, especially since we find out that his his buddy, I wish we knew his name offhand. It's I think Logan. It might be Logan. It is right. It is Logan. So, I checked. It. He's so played by yeah. Ben Barnes. Okay. So we see Logan um uh, uh, has been there before. We get that idea. Yeah. So we just see that this other guy, Will, is much more of a um, like a casual uh, newcomer, you know, that he's not the violent type or he's not the one that's going to get their fix on um, on killing and, and all that kind of stuff. Well, he's got to figure out what he yeah. wants to be in here. That's the thing. So he's he's a player. I think he's we kind of see what he was going to be. And then at the end, we see what kind of guy he wants to be. He wants to be a romantic. Yeah. We see with that interaction with Dolores with the can. Yeah. And that's one of her narratives that we saw last it's week. It's now his. Now he's involved in that, now which is which is interesting. Yeah. Which is interesting. And she gave it... him a look, you know. So, yeah. um, and at that time, they were also talking about people coming back, and 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 uh, Ford was talking about why people want to come here. It's the subtle details, the the the, the subtle things, yeah. and that just by by Will seeing Dolores is going to make him come back. Yeah. And I guarantee yeah. we'll see him leave and then come back again or or and, and he may not leave he may not leave so why don't that's we true. why that's don't true. we jump into uh dolores then while we're talking about her not a lot going on here but we did see kind of like the aftermath of what okay so last episode we saw like she start she's remembering she's the oldest one in the park she's remembering there was one important thing that we did see is that she's having secret meetings with bernard 
the like the head yeah. programming guy. Yeah. And he's making her delete those. Wait, just that one, I think. I think she still remembers the other conversations. Yeah. So she well, said she probably there was 138 all... or whatever the no, heck no, it was with plus this one. No, 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 and no, no, no. Since since they talked, he was she was yeah. getting he was he exited for the calculations of how many interactions she's had since the last time they talked. Oh, that's right, that's yeah. right, that's but right. But that yeah, but right. the one we saw, he told her to delete. He that told one. her to delete. And you brought up the comment that she's probably lying. You think she's lying? She, she gave a look like after she said um, she deleted it. Yeah, after her confirmation. Yeah. Um, so again, and then we see her, you know, t towards the end, um, uh, digging up, dig up a, um, a pistol, you know, yeah. so, so, so yeah, not so, much of her, not much, of not Dolores. much, but, but, but nah. you can tell that she's going to have that key thing. She's the yeah. thread between all of this because she's the first. Now, all of these hosts have, this is what's kind of cool. Let, let's, 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 I'll, I'll get, you know, I'll get to that point in a second. Let's, let's move over to Maeve. All right. What do you guys want to say about Maeve? Well, played by uh, Tandy Newton. Well, that's actually like what I said was possibly the word of this whole episode is the like remembrance and memory. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we see that the most with her. Um, I know. Um, I know. Obviously, we, with the with that flashback kind of a thing with the Indians attacking her and her her daughter or whatever that was. So obviously, we see that she was commissioned as something else um, before she was the maiden. You know, yeah. uh, the like maid. Or whatever. Yeah. No, the, yeah, the, the madam. The madam, that's what I meant. Uh, yeah, so we're seeing, and they're really, um, we're seeing a lot out of everybody. We're seeing uh, um, rem memories and remembrance out of all of uh, these key hosts. Yeah, I mean, the the cool thing with Maeve is, is, um, is the is the cool the cool scene where she woke up. Okay, so she tells one of the other hookers, and I can't remember that one's name either. Um, she tells her when she's having nightmares. So we find, okay, so we, we got a lot of information, a lot of inside information. One being that they're not, they don't have the ability to dream per se. They are given the concept of dreaming, but they don't necessarily dream, but they are given nightmares. So I, you know, so, you know, yeah. apples to oranges, but yeah. y so they can have, the reason they give them nightmares is because if they're not wiped, after a storyline or a day or whatever they do, if the techs aren't doing their job, then they it, it's in the form of a nightmare, so they don't think yeah. that that stuff is real. Yeah. yeah. Maeve tells the other the other. I think her name was Clementine, right? Clementine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Clementine. So Maeve because tells he... Clementine. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No. 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 At the point when when um when uh, Maeve seems to start uh, acting acting a little odd and they were she's remembering you know, she's remembering yeah, yeah they said you know clementine has done that role before let's let's you know yeah. um let's let her take the lead and then if anybody wants a last run around that's when they said that they were going to decommission her right because yeah. she they seem like she's been having too many of these uh these issues these memories whatever it is but then she gets into she gets her checkup and the yep. girl checks her out and she's like nah she's fine just give her give her a little more I forget what the hell she said, but like one point something percent, you know, give her like yeah. Well, first, they no, first they made her down. more aggressive, twenty percent. Then, yeah. then in her other checkup, they made her, you know, they they tweaked her a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, oh, cognitive. She wanted to be more cognitive yeah. of what the yeah. guests wanted, so they yeah. upped her ability to read a human. So we have a lot of concepts which we're not really gonna go into, I guess, because it could be an entire episode alone. But just the, yeah. just the, I forget which one of you guys said it, but it's like they're they're like toys. They're like they Puppets. just sit, they fuck with them, they change little things, and I think it's yeah. fucking fascinating. Yeah. On a moral standpoint, but also in like a technical standpoint, and it's just like, I just I can't. The show is just so mm. cool. Like the, the, it's just the concepts are just fascinating to me. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what do you um, think, Jesse? We're not here. We're not. <laughs> What's, what uh, does Jesse have to say about this situation? Yeah, uh, it's just it's mind-boggling that somebody could think of a storyline like this, that uh, AI are separately thinking, and it, it's all tying together somehow, some way. And you have little ticks like um, the count backwards from three, and you wake up That's or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Which, and, yeah. She uses that. That's the thing. Like, that's what's so crazy. And 
All right, so so we've talked about them kind of glitching, right? I'm going to call it glitching. Let's just call it glitching for the time being yeah, until they come up with the term. But so everybody's glitching in their own way. So she, so Dolores is glitching in her way. Her dad glitched in, you know, um, uh, Father Abernathy, not father, but her dad, you know. Yeah. He, John, was it? What the hell John, was it? Uh, I believe it was John. But remember what they said. They said... Could he be contagious? And they use that word contagious. Right. Yeah. And she's like, well, you know what yeah. I mean? But so, so, but Peter, Peter. So Peter Abernathy goes, goes, he glitches. He's been decommissioned. Dolores is glitching, but not letting anyone know because she has the ability to not. Maeve is glitching in, in the form of memories. I just really enjoy the, 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 the different ways everyone is glitching so far. Um, yep. And it looks like we're going to get Teddy glitching. Um, from what it looked like in the in the next stuff to come, Teddy's gonna, yeah. you know, and I have a really cool theory about all of that after. I'll tell you at the end, but um, so Maeve is remembering, and it's just the fact that she was able. Now I don't know if it was written into her script to be like, oh, when I have nightmares, I use three, two, one, to get me out of it. She told Clementine, right, as a little yeah. story element. I keep using air quotes. She used, to, she used that as a story, as part of her story, like a story element, right? In her script. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then we get that as she's remembering, she's remembering the man in black, Ed Harris, coming in and changing that storyline of what yep. happened to her, her family. Yep. But she ends up remembering and using that tactic to pull herself out of the sleep that they were, that they, that they, the mechanical sleep that they put her in to operate on her. Yeah. Because if you remember, they, 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 and then I was like, well, why are they operating? When in her last checkup, she said she's she's feeling this uh, physical discomfort. So there was something going on in her insides. And they said yeah. it on the operating table, like, oh, these guys, these idiots, they did something. They screwed something up. They yeah. don't clean up in there afterwards right, or something yeah. like that. So, yeah. so, okay, so my head's spinning because there's so many layers to this right now. So you have a... a an artificial being that can feel physical discomfort because somebody didn't clean a gear, a cog, misplaced a wire. Like it's insane the amount. And they have how many? Two thousand of these yeah, things. Yeah, roughly. Right. Because ten percent of the two hundred. Okay. Uh, can, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah can you 200. imagine what it cost? Like the, just the, the the time, the manpower, the cost to keep these things in. Like this. Like that's why to these people it's like no joke. And that's why I was like, oh, they could just that like. When the guy was like, the Hemsworth guy was like, I just did decommission her. Like, really? Like, you can just really just put, yeah. what is it, yeah. like $2 million a host you could just throw out? So I, I, I really thought that was interesting. And again, my take is just like, I really enjoy the fact that they're making their glitches differently, like different for everyone. And they're able to use the, like, it's so cool. It's just so cool. I just, yeah, I was blown away, man. I was so just like, I, like I said to you guys during watching it, like I fell in love with it even more. And we're only yeah. two episodes in, you know. Yeah. Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, anything else on on the hosts and glitching? You guys got any other uh, insights? I think I'm good there. Why don't we move to yeah. Man in Black? Let's move to Ed Harris because th it was a major yeah. part. Major part. Go ahead, somebody. Uh, Mike. Oh, all right. Um, well, I mean, obviously, uh, Ed Harris's character, the Man in Black, or the Man in Black. Um, we're finding out more and more of his agenda and we're finding out, um, you know, by him torturing the, uh, the Lawrence character, which was going to be hung there and saving yeah. him just to try to get some more information out of him about, um, the maze, which we saw last week was underneath the scalp of, um, what was his name? Jesse Kissy. Kissy. Right? Yeah. Kissy. Yeah. Kissy. yeah. So we're seeing we're seeing that um, that he's he's been here. We know that he's been there several times. He's been there thirty years. He's been coming back and forth and whatever. And um, we're obviously seeing um, that he loves the violence. Um, that uh, he wants to. Uh, I think you said, Chris. He just wants that next level. And I believe they even said that. in – he even said it. Well, he, he said wants, it. He and wants he that said next it. level. Yeah. And and while you're saying that, let me just interject because. My my whole thought to that was when when he's when he said that I've been coming here thirty years like in this episode, it's yeah. like he's a player that has played a video game and mastered it and he's mastered yeah. it and but but he doesn't want to stop playing and he yeah. wants new content yeah. so he is yeah. finding that new content and that that concept alone 
And I, I, mean, I mean, I know we all are, but I know I'm definitely using a lot of, of game references in, in this because to me, it, it's yeah. what it is. And it's like finding hidden DLC. Exactly. Yeah. So he just wants that more. He wants more of that content. And well, Mike, you, you said you said God mode. Oh, at the Which one is, point, he's he's, he's basically genie. figured out he he yeah. he's a, he hit the freaking tilde key, the tilde yeah. key, whatever you want to, yeah. and he opened up the console yeah. and he typed in God mode, playing That's on right. the PC, and yep. now he's and now he but he but now yeah. he wants a better challenge, and, and he said that he wants to, he said I think he said he never wants to leave. Oh no, yeah, he said after now he's like now I'm never leaving. So he he's yeah. like I'm gonna yeah. find what I want and I'm not gonna leave. Yeah, you know. So now the question there is though, um, what does he plan to do? What is he gonna do if he finds? And I mentioned this during while we were watching. What 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 do you guys? What do you think, Jess? What is he? What is he plan? What is he gonna do? You know. All right. So if he finds this maze to get to this entrance, because obviously they don't know where it begins, because we see the guys getting on uh, after they get fitted and they're all outfitted, they're on a train, you know, yep. heading to the place. So there's there's an invisible doorway somewhere. So obviously that's what he's looking for. Um, but what what do you think, Jess? What what is what is he what is he gonna do if he finds this door? I had a theory about it actually while we was looking at that cross in that like last scene. Mm -hmm. What okay. if that cross is not actually a church, and what if it's a marker to symbolize where the previous Westworld from the seventy three film is? Mm hmm. And he's well, wanting he, to get down there to the ones that are faulty and can actually give him a fight. Okay. Well, I, 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 yeah, I thought I actually thought the same thing. Um, he said that he said to the little boy, um, when he was walking out Ford, there, that you're it's talking at, about Ford now. Yeah, Ford. He was at the edge. It was the edge of like the limit. It was like the limit because even the little boy was yeah. like, "Oh, we don't want to go out there." So if that if that is the edge of this world. Would you want to bring more and more people there in the chance that they could find the gate? That's my only thing about that that pillar or that steeple or whatever it is. I, um, I think that's more or, being, or less just a marker for him. You think? Yeah. To well, know not to go, you know, much further, or that the possible gate is around there. Or well, something? I want to, I want to, I want to talk about this this concept of the gate you're talking about. I, I'm, I'm gonna disagree with you because I don't think that that's what it is. I don't think that the man in black is looking for a gate. I don't think it's gonna be something where he's, he's not looking. You gotta, my, I don't think he's looking. He's not looking to get behind the curtain. He's not looking. But what is the maze? The, what is what, okay, what, what uh, would a maze? Be? Okay, there. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's we do know that there's 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 other things going on here. We find out in this episode when when the woman talks to Bernard, I can't, I forget her name, when she when when that woman talks to Bernard and he's like, how did the, the meeting go when, with the with the upper people? And yeah. she said, we're almost ready to launch or you, you're going to be ready by launch. Something else is launching. I don't know if it has anything to do with what our guests go through or if it's going to be a whole nother echelon of, of, of things that they're going to do. But. I, Ed Harris, I don't think he's, he doesn't want, he wants to, Jesse, I think you said it, you brought up a good point with that theory that it might be the other Westworld or an, an yeah. original Westworld. I think that's what Ed Harris is looking for. He's not, he's not looking yeah. for a way out of Westworld to the real behind, let me see what these things are made of. No, I don't think yeah. that's what he wants. He doesn't want to leave yeah. the game. He wants to be in this world, but he wants to find out behind wants more, it, like more, maybe more yeah. content. It's it's yeah because it's but it's deeper it's a lot deeper than just being like I want to fight more people that are better than me like no no no, no. he he wants to go to the like Jesse I, I think I'm I, I'm jumping on that train I think he wants to find the the the, the older version or, yeah. or 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 an alternate version or something yeah, but was there an older a different we don't know but actually we do know yes. Because no, there was older robots, the older. But okay, but with older robots, you have to imagine comes Westworld 1.0, right? If this yeah. is, but they if this can is like add 6. to the buildings, they can add to the right. And look at look at where they decommissioned area. Them. Think about where they decommissioned them. That whole entire thing has stairways, and it looked like an entire a building. Like it looked like an entire yeah. it's a thing. Big, big. Location. Right, it didn't look like yeah. it was, if it was just a cold room. It would have just been an elevator into a big storage. No, well, it could they be. It could be in the mountains because you saw a lot of a lot of um, you saw what's the word for them? Like when they were you know, 
Yeah, in no, the I desert, know, the, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, the yeah. mountains or whatever that I think, they have. I in. think I think there was a previous. I've always thought, had the thought since the episode one that there's a previous version of everything yeah. of like I how people we'll get see. into the I, yeah. how people get into the yeah. building, how yeah. people get into Westworld. Like I think there's been a previous I one. Guess we'll see. Yeah. Well, so, you get to see they, the elevator that Ford uses. So okay, yeah. so yeah. now can we one entrance? Can we talk about Ford, or, or do we want? To, do we have another thing? Do you have anything to say about Man in Black? No, I mean, I think that's basically, I mean, just yeah. his overwhelming, uh, just killing spree. And, you know, like we just said, he just wants more. Yeah. yeah. So so let's jump over to Ford's story real quick, okay? Because that was another important thing. We got to see a lot more mm-hmm. of Ford. So, Mike, you mentioned the little boy. We see the scene where he comes out of this special elevator. He made, okay, yeah. here's my overall thing. He made a section of Westworld for him. I believe my theory is that it's something to do with his past, something to do with the driving factor to him creating life, because that's essentially what his job was in this whole thing. He's created this world. He's played God. He's created life. But you don't you're not able to do that unless there's something in your past. There's a traumatic. There's a reason he has a drive and he's 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 what in his 80s. He still has that drive. So for him, this whole that whole section was. He has his own elevator. He gets out into the desert. He sees that thing. He sees the boy. And we had this little debate back and forth whether we thought yeah. the boy was real or not. Turns out the yeah. boy is actually another host. We also, yeah. but I think we all agree we think it's him. He's programmed a version of himself. The words that he said that, oh, my dad, I'm, you know, I'm here with my dad. I'm bored. Okay, his dad was probably a salesman or a lawyer or an accountant. And he brought his son somewhere. And now the son is bo- that. Yeah, but like key yeah. words like... Uh... He said a certain saying, and then he's like, my dad says the same thing, too. Exactly. And yeah, it's that's like, true. it's, yeah, it's that's him. True. The little that's boy true. is him. And the, yeah. it's not arbitrary. Something happened to Ford at that age that he's yeah. captured. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll find yeah. out. Right? We'll find, and maybe that, we'll find that. that church or whatever it is, at the very end, he tells Bernard. He brings Bernard out there, and he tells mm-hmm. him. I've got something better. Like I've got, I got something, something planned. I've yeah. got something that yeah. I've been working on. It has something to yeah. do with that. And so, yeah, so I'm um, so, okay. um, yeah, so that, that's my take on Ford's story. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, it, it like, it got so deep. This episode just, yeah. just yeah. got so deep and you're, it's like almost hard to follow, but not like it, it like, I mean, I'm going to watch it again. I'm going to watch this yeah. episode yeah. again. I'm going to watch with my wife and, you know, I'll probably talk to you guys about it again. And I hope you guys, yeah. uh, you know, talk to us in the comments about it because this show is just, it's got something, man. It's got something. It's about it. deep and like, conf- no, not confusing, but uh, distracting, but not as distracting as say Game of Thrones and the Lord Ed Muir of House, this, this, oh, this, yeah, this, this, and this. Just, well, that was that, just such yeah. a vast, you yeah. know, vast, it's, such a, it's more, more complex yeah. in a different way. Yeah. yeah. But this is, you know, this is, this is, this is just a really, it's just, a, everything's great. But you know what? And it's yeah. not all, it's, you know, we, we laughed a bunch of times and I want to, I want to just bring that up real quick. Uh, Lee Sizemore is the, the story writer. He comes up with this huge, big storyline and, um, yeah, big he narrative. Sees, this big narrative, and we see yeah. him throw a fucking hissy fit, which was great. Did you like anything about it? He goes, you know, did you like anything yeah. about it? Yes, you know, Ed Harris, uh, Ford. Yeah, Ford. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, Harris, he, he, I, yeah. he presents it, and Ford's there. And initially, yeah. he says, he, like I said, he throws a hissy fit, and he's like, the nose on that on that warrior's not right. And he breaks it. Do it all over again. She's like, we can uh, just compared it to it. a. Uh... To a uh, oh, did another just, person's junk or something like yeah, that. He's like, did you just take a, a penis and and put it or on throw this it on face, his face? Yeah, he's a perfectionist. And he's a perfectionist, and um, so the woman's like, what's the big big you know? What if Ford doesn't like it? He's like, Ford hasn't come, hasn't like weighed in on my stories in years. Yeah. Guess yeah. what? Ford's there. He does this whole presentation, and Ford's like, nope, nope, yep. nope, shut it down. So yeah. and he's just like, but but is there anything you like? <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, what size are those shoes? Yeah, and then you see him walking, you know. <laughs> he grabs you know, the boots, with, right, yeah. He grabs so, the boots um, and he's walking out with uh, Bernard or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so, and then, um, you know, another another cool little thing was, like, w- when uh, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy was in it, and poor Teddy, man. James Mars. Yeah. Poor, poor Teddy. I just gets killed every he's episode. Just, but he's got a he's got a salty past, though, because according to Maeve, she's, like, you know, kind of similar, but... 
you know, yeah, at least at I least don't my patrons in. are still breathing at the end. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so Sometimes. so 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 Teddy's a fucking badass. Teddy yeah. is a badass and I cannot wait to see him yo in that one preview <laughs> with the Gatling gun, dude. Come yeah. on. Yeah. He, yeah. Okay. Oh, so here's my theory. Let me give you my theory real quick, okay? All right. I think that what's going to happen is those guys aren't William, Logan, whatever his name is. They're not leaving. They're not leaving. Something is about to start. They're not. No one's leaving. It's not like we're going to go home. We're going to see another cycle. No, no, no. I don't think anyone's leaving. I think shit's about to hit the fan. I think they're going to get trapped in the park. The guests are going to get trapped. I think the at some point, the hosts, Teddy, Dolores, they're not going to get reset. Like, I think... I mean, I could be wrong, but I think, like, just by seeing the other things and what's going on, like, Teddy Teddy won't get killed at one point. Dolores won't get shot or, or, or reset. And they're going to end up staying awake and fighting. There's, There's going to be again. retaliation. And they're going to be fighting. And I think Ed Harris is going to – however it's going to work out, I think it's going to be mm-hmm. at some point – Nobody's going to get put to sleep. They're all going to stay awake. The guests aren't going to leave. It's going to be this huge thing where they're surviving. It turned, It looked like it turned into, uh, or maybe it's what I want, that it's going to be a survival type of thing. You know what I mean? A little think, bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, So that's my theory is that, that you know, that's yeah. my theory is that yeah. at one point, no one's going to get reset. They're not going to get shot. If they do get shot, they're going to try and get, patch themselves up or have someone patch them up. Like, I think it's going to turn, for yeah. them, it's going to turn real. I mean, it already is real for the host, but I think it's going to be like a real life or death thing where they're just they're not just going to get, you know. Well, you know, like we like we mentioned, like we mentioned with um, like with, uh, you know, the man in black's character, Ed Ed Harris, that it's almost like, you know, with the God mode that no one's going to no one. None of these hosts can kill him. So he can basically run amok through this whole place. And they even said it. The engineers even said it. Like, yo, dude, this guy is Do you want to slow him down? Yeah, they were yeah. like, do you want to slow him down? And they were like, nah, he can do whatever he wants. So unless unless liked it. Um, these hosts can bypass um, the non-herding of the humans, you know what I mean? What's How are they going to be able to... You know, over over overrun anything, or overrun, uh, possibly murder somebody. Well, obviously, the whole point of this you know? is that they so do. So going to be they figure it out. And it and may not be guns with, Ma- with Maeve. May not be you know, guns, for but for a quick second, when she was on the table, she got off. She grabbed that the the the, the scalpel. Yeah, you know. You know? But let's let's go back to one thing. When there was a point where in Maeve's flashback, Ed Harris shows up, right? Um, yeah. Wait, that's, I'm sorry. Actually, that's the one I want to talk about. What, uh, when when he's fighting in the at the bar when when I when we talked about God mode when he takes out all those guys and they're shooting and stuff, that mm. one guy runs up and hits him against the wall. So they can, and if you remember in the movie, they can punch. Remember they had that whole bar fight and they all fought each other yeah. and it was a mix of like humans and hosts. So they mm. can hurt humans. He did. He pushed Ed Harris and Mike. You had mentioned well, he like pushed him. Yeah. But, well, he can hurt to a yeah, certain he, degree. He can't hurt you. Yeah. They can't make you. Um, we di- we didn't necessarily see a punch to the face in the movie or anything in the bar fight. No, from a, saw yeah, we did. No, Lindsay we did. chairs being broke we got over. Yeah, and, stuff, did, and we saw. Yeah. No, they punched each other. They did. They yeah, they punched them. each it other. Might, but it was probably it was host like, to host. No, no, the host. Well, in the movie, if you remember the um the guy that was playing sheriff um Dick yeah. Van Patten, he got punched in the face. Yeah, but it was kind of like a side punch to the face. A side. Yeah, but I'm just I mean, saying it, they they have the ability to 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 to, to physically hurt, not right, but like um, or anything like or that. injure you. Yeah. But anyway, obviously the glit. I think I think this 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 this. I almost said air quotes again. This sickness or whatever that's contagious. Well, sickness would be in air quotes that way because yeah, we don't well, know. That's what why. It is. That's what I'm saying. I was like, it's all air quotes tonight, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that would be that. Yeah, that whatever you know, she's like it could be contagious, and it, obviously it is. Um, mm-hmm. But I mean, that's going to override. Obviously, there. Here's the thing: Maeve is able to override her sleep command by her internal stuff, right? By using an internal yeah. type of thing. So yes, they are going to at some point they're going to be able to override the the ability to not hurt people. You know. Yeah. So I think that's what we're going to expect. That's yeah. what we're going to expect yeah. within next. Yeah. Let's um, let's um. 
Let, wh one last thing, and Mike, you had brought yeah. this up. I just want to. I mean, uh, I mean, I think we're pretty good here. I think we should. We yeah, no, nah, I think it. yeah. Let's keep um, this, you know. But I wanted to. Um, I wanted to bring up, like you said, you know, because we watched we watched the scene where Ed Harris takes out these guys and he's like stabbing him in the throat and then he's shooting him. He takes the knife and he yeah, throw, and he throws point. it at the guy. That's right. I almost forgot. Yeah, and you were like, you know what? You could train. What? You could literally train, train to be a yep. fucking assassin. Yep. Yeah. This and is it's unlimited. Skills. You have yeah. no. You have to the all real the, world. You, yeah, you could practice all you want on real people to get the feel. Like, yeah, and then you go out there and you end up being a maniac. Or, yeah, I'm glad you said that because I forgot. I didn't. I forgot. It's a good point, even, man. So, it's a good yeah. point. And Ed Harris has been doing this for 30 years, so you know this yeah. guy has been studying Imagine and practicing what he is and on like, the outside. Fuck, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God, can I please? Before I do not want to forget, his goddamn pistol is one of the <laughs> coolest weapons I've ever seen yeah. filmed and put yeah. on a screen. It's a yep. fucking, it's a, it's a six shooter, and it's a shotgun. I don't, I don't I, know if it's a shotgun. I think it's a rifle now. Well, he had a shell. It was a he shell. A it was a shotgun shell. shell. And the barrel, if yeah. you looked at it on the close up, and obviously there's going to be something down below because you're going to be seeing it right now, probably. Yeah. I'll yeah. find the close up yeah. of the shell and then of the actual barrel. Yeah. That's why the it's gun. It, it looks like it's like sizes. Like it's, it looks like it's yeah. about like maybe. 15 to 25 percent bigger than a normal revolver because well, yeah. you saw when he was putting it together like yeah. the shell and all that and then you saw him put something underneath so yeah so he put on a fucking shotgun and then he shot the guy through the plaster wall yeah yeah okay that was real cool. and i was like and that and because i was like what is what wait what's with the shell this and also when he killed that guy and then i was like oh my yeah. god that thing was a shotgun no yeah. freaking way that thing was a yeah. shotgun dude yeah. coolest Coolest fucking weapon, yeah, man. bar well, none. My brother, my brother had um, a rifle like that. It wasn't like a long pistol like like his, like uh, Ed Harris's is, but it did. I think it was like a like a maybe a ten gauge shell. It was like I don't know, Jesse. You probably know better than I would. It's a smaller. It's like a, it's a shotgun shell, but it's a smaller gauge. What would that be higher or lower than a, than a twelve gauge? Uh, the bigger the number, the smaller the gauge. So it's so probably, probably like twenty a, yeah. gauge or something. It, it shot twenty four probably twenty twos, and it also shot the whatever 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 gauge whatever. shell. Gauge yeah, okay, yeah. And there yeah. there was a switch by the yeah, trigger. Yeah, but that, it, that one, but that, but that up. sounds like it ran out of the same barrel though. His no, gun, two separate barrels. Oh, two barrels. oh, okay, okay. It was a smaller, oh. and then you know. Yeah, and, right and, on top because, of and because he's able to cock it, he cocks it back like halfway. And then yeah, and then it goes to that second barrel. So I look, yeah. it was it was awesome. I just I just yeah. it's really fun to see that type of thing because that wasn't in the movie or anything. Like they just came up with that. Like we need to give Ed Harris a big ass Bowie knife and a badass fucking gun. You know? Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. That's where, yeah. You know, that's where it came so from. The skill. Really, just, just amazing skill. show. It's just amazing. And oh, and yeah. uh, Mike brought it up in the very beginning. Uh, we had mentioned it. The the opening credit scene done by the same people that do the um, Game of Thrones Game opening. Of Thrones. Two yeah. amazing, amazing pieces of, of animation work and, 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 you know, opening sequence. So, um, Oh, and you're talking about like a uh, Savage 42. Uh, it shoots both 22 and 410. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah very cool. Very cool. It was just an awesome episode. I'm excited to see what oh happens. Oh, my God. I'm so uh, – yeah, I can't, I can't wait to watch this one again. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's cool. I'm definitely going to watch it myself yep. again too. But I'm just excited. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm excited that we got into this Westworld now, and I'm actually yeah, yeah. feeling a lot uh, – with our videos, we're seeing – we're showing a lot more – we're getting a lot more love with these with these Westworld um, – these these first couple i hope people jump on this bandwagon yeah. and you know we yeah. mentioned it before is that once game you know they're giving themselves about two years all right two cycles to get this show you know really get get it going because yeah. so by the time that happens game of thrones is ending and this is going to be their bread and butter so so yeah. you know i mean obviously it's not going to be it's not going to be one season i mean it's 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 no nah. No, no I, it can't. I, you know, but it here's here's be, a, but that's here, a, how long can it go? Well, here's the exciting yeah. part where things get repetitive. That's the exciting part. I bet you it'll turn into something else. Like it'll go like someplace else. So maybe Westworld will evolve. Yeah, then medieval guys, world. Guys, guys, we weren't thinking about this, right? The launch of what? It could be the next world. It could bleed. It could be medieval world and then yeah. Roman world. Like we were like, where are these worlds? But Guess who what? knows if Ed Harris finds that? Maybe that's what he's looking for. Yes, Maybe. because they bet you. Oh my God, guys! What if they took the concept of the Yul Brynner character chasing him through those other worlds, 
and, and that's finds... what it's going to be. They're like, what if we made this guy a human, but then we made him also later on find the other worlds? Fuck yeah, that's it. I'm telling Maybe. you, that's it. Mark <laughs> words <laughs> down. That's what yeah. it's going to be. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm psyched. I'm fucking psyched. Huh? Yeah. Guys, All right. this has been third person. This is our third person podcast. Talking Westworld season one, episode two. Yeah. Chestnut. Thank you for hanging out with us. I think butternut. I think butternut squash. I think we're done. Um, guys, please check out go. our videos. Yeah. Check out our reaction videos. Check out this video. Show some love. Yeah. Thank you. Right. To, thank you to all who have been. Please leave us some comments. Follow us yes. on the Twitter, on the Instagrams at the Pod Think What Book at Third Faith. Person Pod. It's down in the below. Yeah. Uh, if you listen to us on SoundCloud or um, uh, YouTube, thank you very much. Leave some comments. That'd be awesome. Uh, we enjoy doing this. We enjoy doing this for you guys. We enjoy your comments. You guys are really um, gracious and awesome in there. And um, man, that's it, guys. So until next time, enjoy what you're watching. My, uh, my name is Chris. And this is Mike. I'm Jesse. And there you go, guys. We're third person. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Peace out.